This is Jenna McGregor reporting for Business Week. If you're a shopper at Warehouse Club Costco Wholesale, by now you're accustomed to the oversized packages, the cheap prices, and the bare-bones atmosphere of Costco's warehouse stores. But selling giant tubs of mayonnaise and four packs of bulk-sized shampoo on wooden pallets isn't just warehouse chic. It's also the most efficient, and therefore cheapest, way to move merchandise from manufacturers' trucks to your shopping cart. Costco, known as one of the most efficient retailers in the world, spends just 1.8% of its overall sales on its distribution system, one of the behind-the-scenes secrets of the $64 billion retailer's success. In today's tough economy, even Costco is looking to lower that ratio even more, adding new time-saving processes and squeezing out even more costs. For instance, when truck drivers arrived at Costco's Monroe Township, New Jersey depot, they once had to pull in, park, and walk all the way to the front of Costco's vast 600,000 square foot building to turn in their paperwork before returning to their trucks for unloading, a process that wasted 25 minutes a truck. But a year and a half ago, Costco's head of construction and distribution, Tom Walker, came up with a simple idea. In exchange for their paperwork, drivers would receive basic buzzers, like the ones used at chain restaurants, to let customers know their table is ready. Drivers now back their trucks up to their doors and never leave them. The buzzer tells them when the unloading is finished, and they can simply drive away. The new system has shaved hours off Costco's depot operations and is saving the retailer more than $7 million in labor costs a year. But that's not the only thing Costco is doing to make its already well-oiled operations even more efficient. Some 85% of merchandise comes through one of Costco's 16 regional depots. The remaining 15% is shipped directly to Costco stores. Shipping so much to just 16 depots saves manufacturers money, helping Costco keep prices low for consumers, too. But that doesn't mean it stays in the depot for very long. The average pallet, reports depot manager Greg Hardenbrook, is unloaded from one truck, forklifted to its appropriate store destination on the shipping side of the depot, and then reloaded onto an outgoing truck within just four hours. Usually, very little merchandise remains in the depot overnight. In fact, reports Hardenbrook, he recently had a record day, receiving $27 million worth of freight and shipping $27 million worth of freight, all in one nine-hour shift. Over the last couple of months, however, as inflation has prompted manufacturers to raise costs, Costco has been holding on to some merchandise in its depots. Costco is using space that's typically empty to store large quantities, up to a six-week supply, or some two million rolls of paper towels in this depot of products like Bounty or Charmin bath tissue. By doing this, known in the industry as a buy-in, Costco is able to hold down prices for consumers longer than many competitors. For Costco, no time savings is too small to escape scrutiny. The retailer recently added clocks to its receiving doors to keep track of how long the trucks were holding up a dock. Last year, Costco installed new quick charge batteries for its forklifts. These cut labor costs. It used to take employees 10 to 15 minutes to switch out the old battery for one that's freshly charged. And it also save on, saves on battery costs, roughly $130,000, estimates Hardenbrook. Even the driving patterns for Costco's forklift operators back and forth between the receiving and shipping sides of the buildings have been designed for efficiency. That saves time and, of course, money, which Costco can then pass along to customers buying all those pallets of shampoo or all those millions of rolls of paper towels. For Business Week, this is Jenna McGregor.